What's going on, YouTube land? This is Jeff. Had some spare time and getting ready for this weekend. Wanted to make sure my AR-15 was good and clean. Um, just wanted to do a little breakdown of your bolt carrier and how to disassemble it and how to clean it. Um, really not going to show you how to clean it. I'll kind of give you the rundown and what you should do, I think. Um, but I'll show you how to disassemble it and reassemble it. Um, we're just going to do a basic of it. We're not going to take the extractor out and all this stuff. So um, let's go ahead and dig in. Um, you need to go ahead and get you a little screwdriver um, or needle uh, needle nose, small needle nose pliers. If you can uh, tweezers or hell if you got long fingernails, use those. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and push this back here and release the tension off of your firing pin and you want to go ahead and dig into here you get your firing pin key holder and pull it get it out like that and go ahead and just pull it out and there you go there's your key holder so we're going to set that off to the side and after you do that go ahead and pick your bolt up sometimes like that it'll just drop right out um, you want to go ahead and inspect it. Um, usually, like I said, this will wind up getting carbon built up. It's actually not too bad. Um, I try to keep up with it. Um, you want to inspect it. Just make sure there's no bends and whatnot that can wind up leading to bigger problems shooting down the line. Because, uh, of course, safety is the number one thing in my eyes. Um, so, firing pins out set that over now your plunger have your plunger right here so what you want to do you want to give it a little spin it's kind of I kind of use my little tool here and you want to lift it up out of there once you kind of get up underneath it grab your fingernails all right with your fingers and voila there you go that's it right there so right there is where your firing pin goes through. So you want to check and make sure that there's no build up in there or gunked up or something in there. Um, so we're going to set that off to the side. And now you can go ahead and pull out your bolt. And there you go. This is what you really want to inspect. Um, mine's really not in bad shape because I try to keep up on it. There is a little bit of carbon built up on it so that does need to be cleaned off and I will do that but I won't sit here and bore you with scrubbing away and waiting five minutes for my hops nine to dry um, I recommend using that um, to get stuff like that off you know rub it on there let it set for around five minutes or so and scrub it off um, after you do that clean it off and then I like to use frog lube. Frog lube to me is one of the best lubes out there um, for for especially uh, semi-automatics I think um, but all around just a great lube for your firearms. A uh, buddy showed it to me um, let me use one one day on mine and man it ran like a champ. Threw it on my AR-10 actually and that uh, I tell you, it stayed on there for six months, and no drying out, no nothing. Um, so it's great lubricant, great rust preventer. Uh, so what I usually do, I just kind of just get me a little dab on the finger here. Get this here. Now you want to make sure that you get around this so-called whatever gasket or whatever you want to call it whatever technical names people want to come up with but you want to get around that anywhere metal meets metal you really want to make sure it's lubed up um, people will sit there and tell you not to go crazy with the lube um, I'm not telling you to dump a bottle on there but really get it lubed up you got to understand these guns run at hot temperatures um, if you do a lot of shooting um, yeah, you're going to wind up 
with, you know, some kind of, you know, residue on there. Um, but if you maintain your guns and clean them, that that's okay. That You'll wind up just getting it off. Don't let it sit there for a year and shoot like crazy and never clean it. So, like I said, go ahead and lube that up. You kind of want to lube around, you know, with it. Make sure everything's nice and good to go. Um, so, now for the reassembly, you want to go ahead and go ahead and line your bolt back up. Put it in there. Make sure your extractor, your extractor right here, I is facing towards your port there. And just pop that in. And now you want to get your key holder. Make sure that it's turned long ways. And you want to drop them in there. Kind of sometimes you got to work them in. Um, it can be a little pain in the butt sometimes if you don't have it lined up right. There we go. Now, bam. Dropped in. Kind of give it a little turn. Like that right there. So now we're turned. Um, now you want to go ahead and get your firing pin. Also, don't forget, throw a little frog lube on that or whatever lube that you use. Um, grab that. Do the back side. Drop them down and in. Well, maybe. There we go. Drop it in. Um, so now you have that. And you want to go ahead and get your key holder back. And you want to push him back through that hole there. And just make sure it snaps all the way in. And now you're good to go. Everything's good. That is nice. Now before you put your bolt carrier back in, make sure you lube that up really good. Um, you want to get under here. Just do a thorough cleaning. That's about it. But I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown on how to disassemble that and just to maintain it. Your guns will last longer. In my eyes, you don't have to have... Of course, we all want the best of the best and the name brands and um, whatnot. But I tell you, now don't get me wrong, there's a few out there that I won't name that I will never buy. But there are some out there that are very reasonable price for everyday working people like you and I. That um, as long as you maintain them and take care of them, and I tell you, they'll, and they'll last forever. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, any questions, throw some comments down there. Like, share, subscribe. Um, like I said, we're going to get ready to go out there to the property this weekend. And we'll be doing some fun shooting out there. We'll be doing some videos. Um, so, again, like, share, subscribe. And y'all have a blessed day. And